you're watching the news from Bahrain Television. A very good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Asakhir Palace today. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The meeting reviewed national issues aiming to reinforce national development and support the economy to achieve the goals of comprehensive progress and make more accomplishments for the kingdom and its people. His Majesty affirmed that national action and developmental programs are ongoing to serve the country and the people, noting that the next stage requires more efforts to preserve national gains. He commended the dedication and loyalty of the people at various workstations, lauding their efforts and supporting Bahrain's advancements in all fields. He expressed pride in the continuous support, rather sports achievements that are being made by the people of Bahrain at different regional and international events. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for their constant efforts and keenness to follow up and develop the government's work and to improve its programs. He also thanked the members of the government for their tremendous efforts in serving Bahrain and the people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Arabia Palace today a number of ambassadors and senior state officials. His Royal Highness has joined the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in calling upon Hajj pilgrims to focus on worship while performing the Hajj rituals and stay away from acts that violate Islamic teachings. He stressed that every pilgrim should be a soldier in preserving the holy sites and supporting the efforts of Saudi Arabia in this regard. He lauded the great services provided by Saudi Arabia under the leadership of King Salman for Hajj pilgrims, whom he said have to support the Saudi government's dedicated efforts in serving them. The Prime Minister commended the contributions of expatriate communities and residents to the Kingdom's various development fields. He also reviewed with the audience the latest regional developments, especially in Syria where the painful and shameful humanitarian situation hurts the heart and soul. Tackling the situation in Yemen, his Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the role played by Saudi-led Arab coalition in reinforcing security and defending legitimacy and the rights of the Yemeni people. Now we turn to Mohammed with the latest business news. Thank you, Shadia.
A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain Television. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,156.95 points, rising 7.95 by plus closing. The rise was in the commercial banks and investment sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 36% of total shares. 50 transactions included 1,668,064 shares, worth 368,718 BD. The government continues to launch new initiatives meant to improve management strategies of the public and private sectors. More with Shog Mohammed. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, in cooperation with Vector Consulting, organized a workshop titled Cost-Cutting Plans in Today's Changing Economy Using Balanced Scoreguard. The workshop, which was delivered by engineer Ali Umar, is an introduction to the new modern concept of management. Engineer Omar said that the concept is utilizing what is known as a balanced scorecard, which is a strategic planning tool. The idea of introducing balanced scorecard uh, at this stage is, uh, is to make sure that uh, companies uh, which are going through this uh, economy recession, they understand what will be the impact on the, in this economy recession and understand how they can overcome these uh, difficulties and still making profits. Meanwhile, Mohammed al Ashiq from Vector Consulting said, the workshop demonstrated ways to benefit from strategic and implementation planning to contribute to the advancement of cost-cutting plans. In our countries and also organizations need to have cutting cost strategy. So today, the whole event is talking about how actually you are doing this cutting cost uh, using a balance tools, with actually with, uh, which means doesn't affect uh, the other area of the organization. BCCI's new management tool will help government ministries and bodies, as well as the private sector, to implement new strategies to reduce their expenses. We were invited here to uh, um, witness the balance scorecard and how can we use it in each sector um, to get the full idea or to get the, uh, the correct um, direction that we would move forward to. So we expect to get a lot uh, regarding the uh, tools that we might use and will help us to go forward in, um, in our future plans. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues to launch modern initiatives to assist business owners and entrepreneurs in developing their work to serve the best interests of the country. Today's workshop was organized by the Bahrain Chamber of Industry and Commerce in association with Vector Consulting and they discussed their plans on the new theories of cost cutting using a balanced scoreguard. For Bahrain News, I'm Shog Mohammed. Now here's Mohammed with the latest sports news. Thank you, Shadi. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. The Bahrain Olympic Committee had a tremendous event to celebrate the World Humanitarian Day on Saturday. More than 250 participants attended this year's activity, which is celebrated each year to honor the dedicated aid workers who help to care for millions of people affected by disasters around the world. The event, which has a special theme, Sporting Spirit for Humanity, featured races for kids and adults at parking area behind the National Stadium. A mini 300-meter race was open for youngsters aged below 14. It was followed by a race for people with special needs and finished off with a challenging 2K adult race.